Bobby Durkins here. Yesterday, the Clemson Tigers marched down to Death Valley to play normally an extremely intimidating and tough foe in the Florida State Seminoles. That's right. Jimbo Fisher and his scruffy beard shows up here, and he brings in a wealth of talent, and it's always a good old just going back and forth ball game, but not this year. Now, I know, I know, it got 17 to 14, and some of you are going to be like, and whatever that means. But it was 17 to nothing in no time. Clemson does, they're, at least they're consistent. They just chilled out and did nothing for a little while to eventually turn around and put them away 31 to 14. Now, I will say that I am actually concerned for Florida State's quarterback. Six foot five, 169 pounds. Right now, I'm five foot nine and 174, and I still feel kind of small at times. But I will have to say, this is the body of a skilled tradesman. I can do anything. I can I can go out and crawl through a crawl space. I can take my axe out back, chop some wood. Uh, this perfect body, I'm elusive. I can go catch squirrels. And if I need to every now and again, I can even help it. When I was young, I was the number one call man in our area. That if a cow got loose, I'm the one running it down. Don't want to brag or anything, but... But when you're playing in the ACC against, I don't know, one of the top defenses in the country who has a complete and total defensive line of nothing but headhunters, I don't want to be back there taking the snap at this size, much less at six foot five and 169 pounds. And I think they were being generous as that. Let's turn it over. What happened to Florida State? And don't give me that bunch of crap of, they lost their quarterback. No, they lost a lot more than their quarterback since week one. And here's what I think happened. I think the media, who would ever imagine that the media would want to write a story so bad that they blow up teams like I don't know. Florida State, Penn State, Ohio State, uh, anything with State at the end of it, Wisconsin. They had State at the end of their name, but it's the State College of Wisconsin. Just work with me here. And we all know that they're not as good as they say they were going to be. Just three short weeks ago, Penn State was on top of the world, beating their chest. And James Franklin, his freshly shaved head was bobbing around. They were asking him, really wanting to know what he thought. Well, three weeks later, nobody cares of what he has to say. And that's just the business of this game. Florida State lost something. I, I don't. I, I think they've all been mugged, and the real Florida State team is off in some shipping container down in Miami, begging to God that somebody will come down and pop open the door, find them there, let them go, and they can take over and play the rest of the season. Now, for me, I could care less. Go ahead and take that shipping container, send it on somewhere else. Don't bother me at all, but that's just what I think because that would be a way better excuse than they had just sucked that bad this year. They have talent everywhere. It doesn't make sense. But who cares? The Tigers won. They clinched the ACC. They're going to the ACC championship in about, what, three weeks? Next week, they'll have to pump their chest against Citadel. Yeah, it's Citadel. Think about that for a second. I'm sorry, I got kids. They take up most of the memory in this great computer of mine. And then after that, we know exactly who we play. Carolina Gamecocks. They won yesterday. Had a tough time with a horrible Florida team. And normally, I would sit here and talk some major junk towards the chickens of the mid-state. But I'm not. You know why? Because our Tigers could very well go to Columbia, think that they are going to win the game, and guess what they do? They lose. Oh, Dabo won't let that happen. Just like Dabo wouldn't let them go up to Syracuse and lose. Just like Dabo wouldn't let them only win by 14 points against uh, Wake Forest. Oh, by the way, did anybody see that Wake Forest? Yes, Wake Forest. It's not a basketball score. Wake Forest dropped 64 points on Syracuse. 
in a week, I barely score. We only scored 17 offensive points against Syracuse. Say, Brian, uh, uh, Bobby Durkins, every now and again I slip up and say that weird guy's name. It, it, everybody tells me I look like. <laughs> why, why do you keep bringing that up? Because that's the game that you go, there's no way in a very hot place that Clemson is going to lose that game. And then they do. We, we have to refocus ourselves. We have to refocus ourselves. We have to, we have to look at this and not treat it as spilt milk, but try to figure out why the milk was spilled so the milk will never spill again. Moments yesterday, Clemson looked like they were going to run the score up just like Miami did on Notre Dame. We well, found out yesterday, God ain't Catholic. And he definitely is not a Georgia Bulldog. What I'm saying is when you sit there and you look at a Syracuse game, now let's think about this. If they played Syracuse and beat them by 30. And when they played Wake Forest, they beat them by 24 points. And... <coughs> When they played North Carolina State and barely won by a touchdown, and there's all this craziness going on, but the week before Notre Dame beat the living fur off the wolf pack, you're sitting there going, hold on, what's going on here? Biggest Clemson fan in the world. Don't you question my allegiance, but I also tell you, I'm also the most realistic Clemson fan in the world. Just because I wear these colors doesn't, doesn't mean that as soon as I put them on, I lose my darn mind. Does it does it mean it's it's like I'm walking around like an eighty year old person with Alzheimer's trying to introduce myself, shake people's hands in my underwear? All it means is that though I love these guys, I also know them. They're kind of like you know those family members that you love them a lot, and every now and again they do some. Uh, they, for the most part, they do some good things, but every now and again they do something stupid. That's my tigers. They're the defending national champions. Bobby, why are you saying this? Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they will beat Citadel. They will beat Citadel. Okay, that's going to happen. And they should beat Carolina. They should beat them. Bobby Durkins Jr. Jr., he just, you thought we'd be, he's down there screaming like we're trying to circumcise him with a rusty butter knife. No, he's just in a bad mood. But, I just, if Clemson comes out and plays to the top of their game, and Carolina comes out and plays to the top of their game, Clemson wins every time with this group, with this group of, of players. But if Clemson comes out and they play like, yeah, we'll win this, yeah, don't worry about it, it's like college freshmen trying to get ready for, you know, their first year in college and they get to the midterm and they get to the end of their papers, Towards the end of the year, they're like, yeah, we got this, and then they fail, and then they got to call and tell mom and dad that basically mom and dad just paid twenty or $30,000 for them just sit around, hit on girls, play Xbox, and stay drunk all the time. It saved a whole lot more money if they just stayed home, played Xbox, and dropped off a case of beer to them. But all I'm saying is they have got to come in and play their game. If they do... They will. And if one more person sends me a message goes, don't worry, Dabo will have them ready. I'm not worried about Dabo. Dabo's always ready. I'm worried about other people. Though they may be unbelievably talented, I'm worried about other people. On the field and people standing on the side of the field with their head, headset on. And, 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 and I, I'm just telling you, I know I'm getting long-winded here, but I don't care. We're talking about the Tigers. I'm not talking about how to remove a rotten toenail from your foot without any anesthesia. Clemson, go Tigers. Well, anyway, we'll cross that bridge before it burns. Talk about a couple of scores from the, uh, over the weekend. Stanford received loss number, uh, well, they received loss number three last week, but they beat Washington. I'm surprised the media's not foaming at the mouth trying to get them in the playoff. You think I'm joking? Georgia, 40-17 lost to Auburn. Alabama, mm, I knew Alabama was going to beat Mississippi State. 
when I saw Dan Mullen not go for it. Now, I don't blame Dan because had he not went for it, they'd have fired him. Notre Dame. Mm. Bye-bye. TCU got beat by Oklahoma, and now there's a push to get Oklahoma in the top four. We got to get them in the top four because we love Baker Mayfield because we love Baker Fa Mayfield's name because it sounds like a cooking company of some, some sort. Yeah, it's talented, but I'm telling you, never mind. Wisconsin. <sighs> the underachievers. USC. Bye-bye. You won 38-24. Nobody cares. Michigan State got blown out by Ohio State 48-3. to Ohio State, come in here for a little bobby time. This is about one week too late. That 31-point loss last week, it happened. You're done. Next, Penn State beats up on Rutgers. Who cares? Oklahoma State beat Iowa State 49-42. Did they ever play defense? Georgia Tech thumped their chest against Virginia Tech. GT beat VT. UCF continues to be undefeated by playing nobody. Washington State beats Utah. Good job. NC State barely beats Boston College. I admit I was a big Boston College fan yesterday. Wanted to see, wanted to see what NC State was going to blame that loss on if it happened. We blame everybody for being Yankees up here. You're in Boston. LSU beat Arkansas. Big, big surprise. Arkansas just leaves. That's all they do now is leaves. Arkansas's coming to town. Unless they're playing, you know, some team that has no legs, they lose. Northwestern, 23-13 over Purdue. Now I can sleep at night. Well, this is Bobby Durkin saying, I'm telling you, it's shaping up to be a good one. This season is not for the faint of heart, but that's why we're Tigers. And I also want to remind you that if, if you're sitting out there and you're thinking, what could I get Bobby for Christmas? I'll take an early birthday uh, gift or Christmas gift or whatever type of gift. I love tickets to the Clemson Carolina game because I ain't going to get to go this year. But if somebody out there, I don't know, you begin to bust out into tears and feel like giving me tickets to a Clemson Carolina game, I will sincerely go. Well, my kid's down there making my wife want to go outside and shoot herself. I better get down there and help her. It's Bobby Durkins saying, Go Tigers! Bobby Durkins!